a sign of things to come, Labour taking this Kent Council for the first time. This historic win just the start, and this man overjoyed. Today, promising a new chapter. Make no mistake, we are on course for a Labour majority at the next general election. That's his hope, and progress across swathes of southern England, crucial to hitting it. Swindon, another to switch. Key marginal territory taken, sending a message to the Conservatives. Change could be coming. Unfortunately, national issues just seem to have uh, overwhelmed uh, the, the whole situation, and uh, hence we've got the results we've got. A brave face for the PM arriving at party headquarters armed with sandwiches for staffers. But this, very bad, and he knows it. It's always disappointing to lose hard-working Conservative councillors, their friends, their colleagues, and I'm so grateful to them for everything that they've done. But as the day progressed and counting continued, the results for the Conservatives fell further. Dover in Kent wants a true Brexit battleground now moving behind Labour. These are local elections, but these are a fantastic set of results for us. Rishi Sunak triumphs over 78% of Telegraph bibliophiles. Notwithstanding substantial defeat for Tories in the local elections, numerous readers trust the PM has been a dependable personality, one reader said. Rishi Sunak's quiet competency has attracted my support for him. Rishi Sunak has professed the administration should and I quote, stay the course, after the Conservative Party experienced hefty losses in the local votes on May 4. The ballot saw nearly 1,000 Tory councillors lose their seats, while Labour and Liberal Democrats together won more seats. However, a limited survey by The Telegraph has exposed that the PM is winning over 78% of above 29,000 of our fans who consistently read our articles and have assurance in his leadership. Rishi Sunak unveiled his five promises in January, which incorporated lowering NHS waiting lists and having a firm grip on illegitimate migration. Meanwhile, the PM has approved the immigration bill via the Commons and it is currently on its second reading in the Lords. Rishi Sunak has also presented strategies to take the weight off general practitioners by inspiring pharmacists to handle simpler condition and allowing clients to get medicines straight from pharmacies without a GP appointment. A percentage of readers consider the Prime Minister remains a trustworthy individual since assuming office from Liz Truss last October, with many admiring his practical and preemptive style. Gary B., for instance, specified that, and I quote, Rishi Sunak's calm competence has won me over, and labelled the PM as, and I quote, a huge relief after the ordeal of Theresa May and Boris Johnson. He reiterated that, and I quote, out of all of the past prime ministers, Margaret Thatcher would have picked Mr Sunak. Correspondingly, Derek Miller said that, and I quote, Rishi Sunak is capable and credible, but claimed that, and I quote, much damage has been done prior to his leadership and, in turn, it may be too late. Also contending in approval of the Rishi, Gilbert Hall announced, and I quote, increasingly impressed by Sunak and that he handily disposed of Boris Johnson, Liz Truss and Nicola Sturgeon. Deliver. And after the local elections landed the Tories with a bloody nose, Timothy Morgan interrogated Rishi Sunak's opinion as Prime Minister and I quote, without any form of election, arguing it leaves a legacy of distrust. The results are direct criticism of the present government and the policies of Sunak and Hunt. Conservative voters could only show their disapproval by staying at home during the local elections or voting for a real outsider. My question to the people is do you trust Rishi Sunak to move the Conservative Party to the next level and win the coming elections? Please give your comments in the comments section below. The next question is do you trust Keir Starmer to move the Labour Party to the next level and win the impending election? The evidence is somewhat obvious with the local elections but not the final decision for voters. We still must wait. Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO media family. When you look at the lines in terms of this is just showing you going back to the 90s, the lines of 
Who we was in control all. here? It was the Labour Party in the 1990s. Then the Conservatives started to kind of get back uh, around the 2000s and gain control gradually recently. But now this is what we're seeing here. Look at that red line starting to go up. So Labour regaining some influence here and knocking the Tories out of control of Cannock Chase. And that is just one of the many councils where they are defending, OK? And here you have a, a kind of board of the areas where the Tory party are defending these councils. Uh, there's Cannock Chase, gone to no overall control. We've arranged this. It's another way of looking at the same thing. We've arranged it by the kind of marginal swing you need for the Tories to potentially lose control of these different councils from areas where they're relatively safe through to areas where you need a bigger swing for them to lose it. But the striking thing is... Well, let's take a step back. These were all blue. At the start of the counting, these were all Conservative councils. This entire board was painted blue. And now just look at it. Look how much of it is grey, dark grey, no overall control. Look how much is orange for Lib Dems, yellow for Lib Dems. Look how much is turning red as well. So East Staffordshire there, but there have been others that have been further, bigger swings to get to the Labour Party. And you're seeing now here the scale of just how difficult, how tough it has been for the Tory party. And remember, as I say, we are still only maybe a quarter getting towards a third of the way through of the counting. And so far, the news has been almost entirely negative for the Conservative Party.